It's the rumble. Um, a lot of teams start to pick this up in MSI. As a counter, fast, clear. You can duel incredibly well against the rumble and as well still provide that front line that can be coordinated with Kanavi. And now Long Xing stuck between a rock and a hard place. He needs to go for this cannon and he's probably going to die for it. Yeah, and he gets face break it in. That means the stun comes through. Flash needs to come out with the Elytra Harpoon. It's matched by Kanavi for first blood. With, until Captain's able to make that kick flash work. He can still use the ward hop anyway, but... Uh, TT, meanwhile, pick up the dragon on the bottom About side. to overheat, though. Captain still has his flash and the dragon's rage. And look at the poke that's coming out of Sam D. He has the serrated Dirk, and it's going to hurt if JG gets hit. Way, Kanavi, though. there's the equalizer in the middle of the pit. The culling there, too. It's high noon. As Patch starts taking all the damage into the middle of it, Smite comes down. It's secured by TT. But this fight is messier than my bedroom when I was 12. As another kill goes over to Kanavi, burning to a crisp. Long really going to be able to trade this either. Actually getting teleported oh, on. Know. Sam D has his ultimate available, gonna use it onto Yagao, but he stays in place, Equalizer takes him. Rumble. And Sam, right, and, and even set to a degree, we know can be abusive at all times in the game, but those three champions I listed before, they feel so good with those one, two items as Yagao has right now. Look at the pathing here. Captain zones himself up, or rather gets the angle, as now the Dragon's Rage almost oh. kills Yagao, but he gets out with a slither. Back in your favor, but unfortunately for them, execution wasn't quite there, and now Kanavi's hovering mid. And Sam D's walked into the trap, Flash forward. Oh no! Kanavi probably didn't even. It was about five minutes ago when the gold lead was 800 or 400 gold difference. We saw that fight. You don't give away something that TT can play through to get back into this game. What are they going to do from here is the next question because Xiaopang caught in the middle. Captain flashes away. Xiaopang now meets with Lu Mao who gets him rooted down. Help, thank thankfully, because of Loken. Yigao sprints forward as High Noon once again equalizes it down. It all feels over at this point. 10 kills to 1, 17. You can see the TP coming in from Yagao though. Like JDG went a hard commit for this mid lane. And multiple members of TT here, but look, they're just being forced away instantly by that equalizer. And the zoom the raid boss in the back end as well. In a turret, that's going to drop too. JDG moved the goal we lead have to up. take this mid lane turret since we do have Loken and base, but Curtain Call is available if JDG want to try and make something happen. Rifthjold's so close, Sam D needs to step up, but he can't with Gragas. There's the explosive cast patch. Zoom. Eats him up and zooms on the back end. There's the showstopper in. Lungshing separated from his family. And he's about to become an orphan if Yigao has his way with him. Is flashing over. Lungshing tries to turn around. Lumao with a body slam. Not enough damage has been done as the curtain call will line down. But the equalizer. You don't want to oh. fight them outright. Pick being set up on this top side. Xiaopunk spotted out again, though. Was trying contest. And I think that's the right call right now. Like, there's no need to try and over force thing if you don't need to. But now, with that recall coming in, TT are activated. But Lumao cancels it. Over a war, they spot him out. The Abyssal Voyage there, but Patch is by himself. Equalizer with Illusion. Patch has no friends this time around. And JDG get the first kill. Zoom has already teleported into the play. Lumao explosive cast doesn't connect, but Sam D ends up burning the flash. There's a nice little deadly flourish, but no connection with the root, as there's the ulti as well. Xiaopeng's caught Yagao. That's a good step from TT, but being burnt to a crisp is not what you want. JDG still hover over, take the kills in the end in a favorable trade, and Zoom is an absolute menace that takes no damage as the Sonic Wave comes on in, but Zoom has Stride Breaker, Face Breaker, Haymaker, that's the Daymaker of JDG, can take it, flash forward from Loken, is there a death? Bring that fight back, actually end up costing them far more against JDG there. I like what's happening though in live though. Captain's been spotted out. There is nowhere that's safe from the vision as he gets rooted down and destroyed by Loken. The curtain call again. Patch is given to Mama Yagao. You're going to have the level difference and all that, but regardless, Xiaopeng has no flash. He's not going to be able to get in They've had here. a horrible game. I just think Kanavi's always been there. We've always had that attention coming through from Zoom. And JDG have played the map state better as now. Moving all guards down to the bottom lane. Pushing in as five alongside Zoom with the Baron buff. Yeah, and this is gonna be impossible to stop. JDG are just going, right, cards on the table. We are just stronger than you and we're just gonna force this down. Zoom can tank up these turrets so damn easily. You have a heap of burst damage and long range damage that can come through from the curtain call and the equalizer. Hell, even the culling as well. So they just decide to go for it. Zone control scary. I like that point a lot, Dagger, as they're pushing on here. Down Xiaopong is at half health. The equalizer tags him down with the Night Harvester proc. 
He will not die, but Xiaopeng has to spend the time going back as Lumao takes a sonic wave. Resonating strike there from Captain, not yet, but he's positioning for the angle. He needs to get in and get a three-man kick at least. But T, did he have any chance? But Captain, he's been caught out a little bit, takes half his health, and JDG is still running away. Yeah, and they're going to be able to back away. Fine, they'll take a little bit of a bonus prize on the way out, but... Lumao's been more. seen. He's seen by the vision there. Has to flash away in the end as Captain's moved all the way to the middle of the fight. But JDG have found him as well. Xiaopeng low health bar once again as Zoom has gotten in. The Haymaker comes in and Patch will go down. Xiaopeng running for his life while JDG take a whopping amount of damage from Sam D. But the audience is saying it's not enough. I love that TT's mid laner is taken to heart and Captain goes down with his ship. Because no matter what he goes oh with the play, now Long Xing might do the no, same. No, he flashed in a straight line, Dagda. No! <laughs> Zoom, meanwhile, is taking care of business every day with Sam D. JDG on top of the last member. That's Xiao Peng. And as he gets eliminated, they're going to run it towards the Nexus. 28 minutes. 20 kills to 2, and look at the man in the jungle, Kanabi with 18 out of 20 kill participation is a legendary game one for him. Nice, welcome back to LPL. This guy came away from a couple of different LDL teams, was on the TT roster squad, as well as Dominus Esports in the past, ES Sharks, everyone remembers from Korean Challenger, who almost made the run-up. should be forced off this top turret. That's a big wave coming in. We'll wait with the barrel. Has enough mana as TP's coming down. That's your gal. It's a huge wave. And this is a level two dive that TT are having to deal with. First already dead. Kanavi is going to take Nautilus. And now Sam B against the wall. Flashes out. Gets the return kill. But it's JDG with an absolute... Back into the bush. He's hiding around. The hat road path has been created. Dagger, this looks like it's it as Lumao flashes in onto Sam B. He's exploded as now taking over the virus, patching a lot of trouble. It'll be Kanavi for oh kill God. number three. And bot's now just done. 20 CS lead here for, for Loken on his gin. And their bottom line has to back away yet again because it's happening once more as Zoom in the top side. Xiaopang flashes in the moonfall, flies down. Early game, Dagda. The ward from TT spot Zoom coming to lane and the oh, Herald no. here. Zoom has to make a play. He doesn't quite have the cannon barrage left remaining, but he does have flash. Luxury gets the stun down. There it is again. Passive comes through and sweep away he will. The Diana Luna rushes in so that TT can rush ahead with this game. We talked about Zoom, you know, playing his lane so well, doing such a good job. It ain't looking so good this game. Like, again, you hear the Rift Herald go down. You know Xiaopeng's top lane. Oh, though, here we go. It's gone to Dark. Captain's just dead here, Dagda. And thank you so much, says you can. Barrage back up and available as well. Still has that opportunity as well. But bottom of your screen, not sure if our chat can see that. There is the opportunity here for you to stop Kanabi from having as big of an impact in these fights. Catch him out with some of the CC and burst him down. Here comes a curtain call, though. It's already begun. Flashing away is your who takes the chain of corruption. TP right in front. That's from Lung Xing. Cannon barrage to zone out, but Xiaopeng's just done the dragon. And meanwhile, they can turn on your gal if he comes on in. Moonfall flies through. There's Cole the weak. And the weak is your gal. TT with the dragon. That was it, yeah. Yeah. I was like, Silas is on the other team. That's There's no one to steal that, but oh, here we go. Maybe it doesn't matter if Patch just walks into vision. Lumao's here absorbing down. He's dead before he can haymaker. You go over the wall as a crest deep like around the mid turret. Well, Xiaopeng is just going to take this for free. And a much better look to how TT are going. Now, we remember we talked about scaling here, Dagda. You look towards we... the build from Yago, obviously against the AD mid laner, but he's going to very quickly want to finish off the Zonyas as wow. Xiaopeng. Uh, Lumao flash, Xiaopeng still there, face breaker in. Hail Cascade gets him a bit of shielding here. There's the Chains of Corruption on the other side. The Crescent Strike works out in the end as Long Xing's coming in. Lumao left without his team and down he goes. A Jay bunch of people that are constantly protecting their members. They are playing this so well oh. as... There we it go. Hits. It hits the Lunar Rush follow up. The Moonfall in as well. Kanabi's dead. Thanks to Patches. One. You can see already Varus is pushing in onto the mid lane tier one as well. And if it's just Loken on his lonesome there. Lung Xing Pat behind as well with a full Fury. Varus Kanabi goes into the camouflage. Lumao and Loken protecting the mid wave, but this is still holding out. It looked like a giant love heart that Shao Punk wants to elaborate on. The Moonfall there onto two. It's Zoom and Kanabi have to flash away. Golden with the Zonyas there. 
bit of damage on top as well. The Pale Cascade gives shielding, but Lumao on the back end may have done enough work as the Flash comes on over. However, TT have still got these sideliners in action. Jumping on in, though. This is not the numbers advantage anymore. Over the wall, Shout Punk, the Diana trying to carry. A zoom still here. It's an absolute fiasco. A fire sale where everyone must go. And it's an absolute... Yeah, and this should be easier now. TT just needs to try and play this front to back. No steel coming them. through. But in the back line, look at what Lumao's doing. Patch has gone in with the rest of his team being distracted. Lumao kites away from the Crescent Strike. And Xiaopong, the strongest member, is not in here. Four remain on JDG. Xiaopong was not there. And everyone's happy to pick up the scraps. As Xiaopong dodges away. Kanavi gap closing as well. The Spectral Moor blocked by a minion wave. Kanavi still wants to take the engage though. Moonfall only onto one, but is Xiaopong biting off more than he can chew? He's doing a lot of damage, but now buys time with his little Zonyas. Xiaopong again, couple more autos. The Pale Cascade! Oh, it was close. But Zoom, the in these last couple of engages, he's now gone from 0 3 to 4 and 3. And this is where JDG Xiaopong. out of the engagement. And after two big fights, we haven't had a chance to talk about items. Maybe we don't as TT look to pressure and get their third turret in the mid lane here in the outer as Longxing being chased by Kanavi Zoom on the flank as well Zoom is three items Dagda he's definitely back in the game as the cannon barrage comes through that's gonna lay it down Lumao on the back line face breaker comes through as well and that's already the kill on to patch as TT support drops so will Xiaopong the most fed over as Longxing and Sam D now on the envelope of this Baron pit not sure if that was English but I tried it anyway Baron goes down, JDG 5k, the engage there, Everfrost off the connect, but the deadly flourish from Loken from downtown. Pushing forward aggressively, has the chains of corruption. Shout yeah, with the flank though, onto the Moonfall, but over the wall, Loken flashes away. The depth charge was good, but yeah, Gao just jumps on top. Moonfall stolen, it's golden for golden, as the curtains will fly. And Yagao ends up cleaning him, while the rest of JDG collapse onto TT. The sniping from Loken has been excellent. A zoom now Seconds joins until that's up. You're going to have the resets that can come through from JDG, and they can fall back to that. Xiaopong isn't going to be up until doing a lot from afar in this game number two as Xiaopong onto Lu Mao. The Moonfall comes in. Pale Cascade again. The Crescent Strike. Everything launching out. Lu Mao running for his life. The Bodybuilder trying to get back to the gym. And he does. He'll go back, but uncomfortably as Xiaopong was on the chase for a while. Kanavi now to Lugxing. Dagda. It doesn't end, does it? Cannon Barrage on the Captain. Spectral Moor at the ready for Kanavi. Will it get the route down? Not going to use it a second time. Meanwhile, top side, your gal's going for the turret. And, oh my god, give me a break. Death charge, Sam D. Run away. That's a lot of damage. Deadly flourish again. Oh, he's not running. I told you, he's done it again. Your gal's bought time. He's gone golden. JDG, a five-man group, have just epitomized out of nowhere. Where did they come from? Your gal full fold with the abscond abduct. And after that kill now, an inhibitor goes down. They want to end the game, Dagda. They're going to have a chance as well. It's Zoom going in, but there's nothing they can do. I mean, look at the burst damage. Longxing buying time with a nice little stopwatch, but he's going to get dunked down. Kanavi picks up the kill. JDG, it was a rough early game. Wait, but as the Chain Lash comes through, the burst as well, they'll secure a 2-0 start to the LPL for 2021 summer. A JDG of actually... <laughs>